G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play channel. We are on Effendale Bridge and I last time mentioned that we were going to do a couple of farms and I have done just that. I have created some of the most inefficient farms in Minecraft's history. Let's go and have a look at them. We head just over the edge here. We can just, just zoom down here. Look at this, look at this area. It's looking beautiful. So, first farm we have to deal with is the obvious one, right? We need mud bricks. Um, in order to get mud bricks, we need wheat. So I have created just a standard sort of, you know, four-tier farm that automatically harvests. So we just hit that button, sends a redstone signal up the back, and down they come. Here it comes. And most of it ends up in the end there <laughs> and then we hit it again and it stops and then we get the pleasure of going through and replanting everything so the second most inefficient farm that i have uh actually this one isn't too bad but it's not necessary i've made a decision that i'm going to make myself a moss farm uh, but this is essentially <laughs> for my mossy bricks <laughs> i've just covered a wall in uh, in vines and we just go along and off we go we just you know <laughs> do the thing <laughs> it's so slow uh, one of the most inefficient farms that I've ever created is this little guy in here this is oh look we have them we have them we have two mushrooms we, quick hit the button wait we've got yep we've got two so far from the farm Look at that, 100% increase. So again, just using dispensers to dispense water into there. And now we have four. That's awesome work. <laughs> it, <laughs> it took me half an hour, half an hour to an hour to build this thing. And it produces about one mushroom an hour. <laughs> it's terrible. However, there is a much more efficient way to do this. And uh, all we need is that and a little bit of bone meal. All right, so we take our mushroom. We head up to this lovely patch of, uh, it is Podzol. And we head to the middle. We place that down. We hit that a couple of times and there we go. Now, if we want brown mushroom, then we use silk touch. If we don't want brown mushroom, but we want mushrooms, we just go along and use the ax on it. Uh, yeah, so that it doesn't always get that many, but most of the time it gets a fair few. 22 is not a bad little recovery. So we're working in profits on that one there. All right, we've also built a very inefficient XP farm, but it doesn't have to do a lot. It just needs to help me with um, sort of regaining some XP on on weapons and on tools and stuff while I'm down here. So it's the usual. It's just got a couple of platforms up inside there that... Uh, allow mobs to spawn. The reason that it is so inefficient is that we're in the middle of a cave, in the middle of an area, and you know th things go bad with that. So that's yeah, that's why. Uh, this one here I quite like. So this one's for me to get my warped stems. So we have two ways we can see this. First of all, we can see it with the just doing what it needs to do, which is to get the mushrooms for me. So we just do a bit of that and, and do it a couple of times and you get a couple of mushrooms and some stuff. So, you know, I can, I can do those nether type woods in here and there we've got those. We'll stick our little guy down in the middle there, hit him with a bone mill, get smacked in the face. And there we go, we have a tree. Now, one trick with this little thing here is you have to get rid of that block quickly, otherwise you waste a bone mill having to get the um, having to get the thing back. And this is my mud farm, this little water thing that you see here. And the problem with mud is it's, uh, it's like a four-step process to get mud to work. So with this, and I could have built this a lot bigger, I worked out in the end. Um, all I've done, I've put hoppers underneath this channel of water so I go along here and I very slowly place a whole lot of soil on top of the uh, on top of the hoppers straight down the middle and I don't know if this is seriously uh, that much 
more efficient than um, than just putting them down on on cobblestone underwater or something like that. This bit here feels like it is because you don't even need to move the bottle. You can just go along and double click um, and it fills and it does the thing and that's all nice and easy. So we're getting our mud there and then we grab our, our thing and just go along and it all just nicely disappears straight into the hoppers. And then uh, with this one here, I've set it up so that it feeds into a chest. Uh, no, it doesn't. It feeds into a chest there. And then that chest has a, a hopper out there. So if I ever want to grab a whole heap of them, I can just put down a, a, a shulker into there and it'll feed in and fill it up for me. And then I can take off with, uh, with my wheat. So there are a lot of the things that I'm using at the moment. As I said, I'm going to get to work now and I'm going to do a moss farm. No point in me doing um, any sort of time lapse or anything with that because I will list the guy's name of the the farm that I use if it works and um, we'll just, just go from there. But okay, I have been standing here for two mushrooms time. Uh, this is now a measurement of how long we do something. Uh, this is what we've built. Look. It's a, uh, it's an automatic bone mill and moss farm. It's, it's very intricate and very detailed. Of course, I could tell you exactly what every component of this does, or I could just tell you to go to Chapman's uh, <laughs> video. This is the video that I've used is his. Uh, he's a little bit of a better redstoner than I am. I, I can get my way around and I sort of understand some principles of what's happening here. Um, but um, you can tell how well someone else knows it when they say, just move the hoppers around so it evenly distributes the stuff through the thing. And you just go, just move the what now? Where? Where am I moving? <laughs> which which hoppers am I moving to where? <laughs> where, where goes what? <laughs> okay, let me turn this thing on and let's let's have a look at it in action because it's, it's pretty cool. It's also, one of the things is it's extremely quiet. So it's very pleasant. You can barely tell that it's on. It's uh, it's very calming, and I can't wait for that new piston sound. That'll make this much better. That'll <laughs> that'll improve things greatly. Okay, enough of that joke. Let me move over here a little bit. Let me move out of the way. So we'll come back here. <laughs> so now let me turn it off, and let's just see where we're up to as far as collection goes. So. So this is going to continue running just for a little bit because there is some um, there is some stuff in these. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, so down in here we have the bone mill barrow, and in that barrel we have what 110, 118, 117, 117 bone mill. Um, then in this chest over here, this is where the rest of the stuff goes. Okay, and this is all my mossy blocks and then we get a few azaleas and we get some moss carpets and things like that. But not a lot of that sort of stuff. Generally, it's mainly mossy blocks. Um, at the moment, of all of these, so there are there is a five by five, so there's 25 blocks which are mossable. Um, at the moment, I only have... Uh, one, two, three, four blocks going into this. So four blocks is creating all of this. And the other 21 blocks are creating this. Um, <clears throat> look, it's not, it's not bad. I mean, if you, if you, like that's quite an efficient farm, particularly that it's giving me all that moss because I could take the excess moss of which I'm going to have billions and billions of, of blocks and the azaleas and things like that and I could mush all them in through these, comp through these um, composters and then have far more bone meal. 
It's pretty good. And I think while I'm down here, if I've got some nice loud music on that's at the same beat as that, <laughs> I could probably handle running that. But anyway, now we have a source of... So we have a source of moss for our mossy stone bricks and cobblestone and moss, obviously. We have our little XP farm here. We still have vines, which we can use just for vines now, or we can use it for more composting. So realistically, farm-wise at the moment, we're doing pretty good. Um, now, since the last time we were here, I did go through and make a mistake with these. I've just noticed, I've just seen that. I didn't bother doing too much in there because I don't need to. Um, we can just put that one back, but then this one, if we go off there, yeah. Okay, so we've gone and done these. We've fixed these up so that they're external. That's just purely from the distance thing so that they're, they're outies, not innies anymore. Um, and I think, that, I think they look a lot better like that. I think that really helps with the bridge look. Um, and certainly yeah, this, this bridge just looks magnificent. I still love every bit of it. Uh, the other thing that I, well, heading the wrong way, the other thing that I have done is to just do a little bit underneath the, um, underneath the archways that are over here. So let's just go around. I haven't finished this bit here, but we'll do soon. Uh, but I have done all under there. Remember, it was looking very sort of thatch roofy, um, and now I think that looks a lot better. And we've got this nice, neat sort of path that runs through. is not a lot of room, but it's not there for... It doesn't really serve a great deal of purpose other than the fact that it's to give depth to that. Um, there's another one down underneath here that I also haven't done. Um, but I think, I think you'll agree they look really good like that. And that, that's good. So... Part of the problem when, when you're doing a city, and I've had to have a bit of a think about this, part of the, the thing that you think you want to do is to do, um, to do these sorts of builds onto paths, onto views, right? So we have a nice, a nice view that looks out there. Um, the problem with that is then you end up with all your paths run along the front edge so we would have a path that's going to run along here then a path that's going to run along here then buildings here then down here we'd have the same thing a path along the front and then buildings along there and that's not what cities look like that's nothing like what cities look like um, although some people would be utilizing this view it this is more of a boardwalk or a, um, a sort of a place that you could go to have a look at, but we're going to put some houses in. We might not have have the ability to look out anymore. Part of this view might disappear. So one of the things we're going to do is to make a decision as to where the paths are going to go. So we have a couple of choices. One, I think this path should through. We've got we've got this here, which is an ability for people to walk through. Um, but I feel like these are not, they're not the main walkways or not the main transports. So I feel like this path here is going to come down this way. Um, and it's going to head sort of along here. My God, I can talk. I waffled on for about another half hour about the paths. Surely it is just easier to do the paths and then come down and show you. So that's what we're doing. Um, so I've put the path around the side here. I have also done the archways underneath this part over here. So they're the same as the other side now, which is much better. I've also done through the little diagonal piece here. I have forgotten to do the floors in this bit, but that's okay. I'll come back and do those later on. Uh, and I've done a load of work with the paths and things. So I've got a path going along over that side there, 
as well as the path that I'm walking on. So down from the stairs all the way across into an archway there and across here where I have also done these stairs and we come across here and we come down here through this set of stairs. This is temporary pathing. Um, I don't like it all being neat and tidy like this one single texture. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> but this is a little walkway path. Over that one will be the main path. And then just over here, if we can quickly get over. Yeah, so another walkway path that'll come down here um, that just goes by the water and everything. That This, this one will be a good one. Um, that'll work around some houses and things and have some gardens and things as well so yeah i've also done the basics of the archways over this side and thrown up some of the archways i haven't done the edging i was out of andesite unfortunately so yeah you can see where the paths go the main path going down the right hand side of your screen the other two paths are going to be just walkways and that's about it i need to get some building done we're 18 minutes into this video and i haven't done any real stuff yet so let's get to work Okay, now I have been throwing down blocks and I have built a giant concrete, a big stone creeper or something. I don't know what I'm building. <laughs> I had this idea for a box and uh, oh, there's a lot I don't like about this. You know what? I think I'm going to have to throw some detail onto it at, at this point to sort of get an idea. Also, I wish that was pointy. Anyway, uh, let me yeah throw some detail down and let's see where we get with it. I'm, I, I might have to redo this, but let's have a look. Okay, and I think we're just about done up here. I think we're pretty close. Let's have a look at it and, and see what we think. So originally this building was going to stand sort of on its own next to the one next to it. But I think it works best as an addition to the, the building there. You can't see a lot from here because I'm sort of down here. So we're gonna go into free cam and just have a look. Um, so there will be something else out here. I haven't decided what yet. Um, we're not gonna do that this episode. But yeah, what we've done is we have joined the two pieces together and I'll go up and, and show you in a second. But I've tried a couple of different things in here. I've tried some different textures and I've tried some different sort of looks and feels and things like that. There's a couple of things that I'm not so sure about. One is this piece here feels like it sticks out just a little bit too far maybe i could bring the uh the oak forward so like over here where the oak is sort of standing out a little bit from the front i think that would look a lot better to have that out one more block and we will we'll probably do that um 
But going through there, we've got some little things here, like we've got some polished um, polished deep slate in between some um, some stone bricks. Uh, tough. Now, okay, I'm still in 1.20.1, and that's mainly because Craftworks hasn't gone across to to anything higher yet. Um, it, so I am restricted to one tough block at the moment. And, and I could change this world over. That's a whole other story. Anyway. Um, but tough is one of your best friends if you're doing any blending between a dark block and a light block. Tough is your best friend. Any spot where there's a shadow, where there would be a shadow, like in here behind these, these blocks, you don't want to do it all the way across. But a little bit of it, when you step back from it, it looks really nice. It looks really cool and it's, it's a good block. And I use it for transitions in all sorts of things. So I've, I've used it sort of sparingly, but, but I've used it a bit around here, um, particularly in places like here where it's in the darker areas, um, behind here where we're underneath the stairs and things like that. Um, and I think it's those little details that make a difference. I'm really starting to get the hang of this shading with colour thing, which is what we talked about last time we were here doing this building. Um, but I'm really feeling like I'm getting a bit of a hang of it. So places like underneath this stair here, we've got the deep slate bricks to give it that shadow. Um, up in here in the middle where it would be darker, we've also got the deep slate bricks. This piece here, which looks a little bit like a, I don't know what it is, one of those sweets or candies or lollies or whatever you say in your part of the world um, that has the multiple layers, <laughs> like a licorice all sort or a, something like that. Um, but it makes sense to me that down from underneath, these bits here where we've got, this would be in a dark shadow, that gives it a look of depth and it gives it a look of shade then also here then it gets a little bit lighter towards the middle hence why the oak is here and we've got spruce either side um, and then down the bottom we've gone with a wooden bottom you can see i've changed out so those note blocks i had along here they were too much the composters were too much i was determined to put these note blocks in somewhere i don't know if they work there but they're, they're sort of doing okay um, Gone with the dome roof, which is similar to the one over there for the observatory. It's not as big and it's it's sort of just a dome. It's not an observatory here. Lots of leaves. I love my leaves. I've always said if something doesn't look right, shove some leaves in front of it and that makes it look better. Open gates above doorways, also above uh, the, sing in the single windows here, like little shutters. Um, and that's a cool little effect. I like that. Um, using the spruce trap doors here on the bottom of these bits as well as on the underneath for supports for this part of the, the top. Um, yeah, so, so giving a lot of detail, I might still change these ones here to stairs. I think that might look a little better too. There's lots to do and with this sort of thing, I'll fiddle around with it or not fiddle around with it. I'll do something else. So it just depends on how I'm feeling. There's lots of layers and levels. There is one thing in particular about this build that really bugs me and I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm going to do with that. But all the way through this part here, so in here this will be like a little alleyway that will come through and it will be stoned up on the floor and things like that. Um, but it comes up here, we've got this level now on top of this building which wasn't here before, which is sort of a bit of a look out over the, the thing there and maybe I'll put a chair or two down in this area. Um, and that would get you into the second level here, um, which would be a whatever. And then you can go up over here as well, which takes you onto this level, which is nice. Again, you've got the lookout providing you're standing on that little block or not as short as I am. Um, and <laughs> you've got that bit there. And then you can get up here onto this level as well. And there's a hole in the ceiling there where you can get through um, if you need to get through to the last level. <laughs> I haven't made a way up there yet. Um, but yeah, so so I think it's looking pretty good and I, I, I like it. Now, the the thing that I, the main thing I don't like apart, apart from this and the little changes we're gonna make there is 
As far as scenery goes, uh, there is a certain hill which is bothering me a bit. And that's this hill over here. I feel like if this was a peak, it would look better. Now, the thing is, I haven't got a great deal of time to finish doing this <laughs> before I have to get this episode out. But you know what? I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Um, well, it's not even close to the dumbest thing I've ever done. There was this one. No, don't, you, you don't want to hear this story. So what I'm going to do is I've got myself some shulkers here. Um, I am going to head up there and I am going to... I think there are some, there are some goats up here. Um, at least one that I've seen moseying around. Um, there he is there. Um, we might try and get ourselves a horn. We'll see how we go. Um, but mainly, let's see if we can create some sort of peak. I guess it's going to have to be pretty big. And I guess I'm going to need some of this snow and I'm going to need some of this ice and, and things. So, um, yeah, let me, let me have a look and see what sort of destruction I can cause and whether or not I've got enough in me to, <laughs> to get this finished. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get going on this. I don't know. I don't think I don't think we're finished up there. I think that's something. Let's uh let's do the let's do the thing. Let's free cam and let's step back from it. Um no, we're definitely not done. <laughs> that was harder than I thought it would be. I thought it would just be oh yeah, just place down some blocks and there you've got a a, a peak. But let's have a look. So uh, Let's let's fly over. So the big difference over here, apart from scale, right? Like massive scale difference here, and we've got all these different little peaks. Um, how about this one over here? Yeah, this one over here. I mean, this is just a peak, right? But but I guess the difference is the surrounding to it. So what do we see when we come back? Yeah, <laughs> mine. My one is too random. I feel like I feel like these are a lot smoother, a lot smoother. Um, I couldn't get any of those goats to attack me either. None of them were interested. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, so I think I think we have some potential. Let's not. Uh, Let's not disregard the, <laughs> the potential. <laughs> i tell you what. i tell you what. Here you go. Look, we're going to do more up here, right? We, we're going to do a lot more up here. I've decided. I've just decided. Like, because I don't need a distraction when I'm building a massive city that I'm going to be doing. And so far I've done, you know, one building a week. And no, that's not fair. Look at all these pathways. Look at this. Down here, along there, along there. We did all of that along there. All the stairways, the stairwells, stairways, stairwells. All of this down here, we've placed down all of these blocks, all of those over there, all of those, and then right down to here. So, look, we've we've done a lot. I think I think I need to do. A week where I'm just building in here, though. I'm just... Oh, wow, that's rough. Um, where I'm just... Yeah, just building away um, and and sort of getting into some city stuff. So we'll, we'll do that too. But what I was going to say is, how about we try and come up with a name? Uh, 
a name for the peak. Now, here's the thing. So it's competition time. Woohoo, we love competition, Zinc. Yeah, um, we're going to make this peak better. At the moment, it's a tiny peak. <laughs> At the moment, it's little. And, and as I say, I think it's scale, and I want to know what's in that hole, but I'm not going in with free cam. That would be cheating. Um, I know that inside this peak, there is a mob farm. Uh, it may not be right now. No, because I'm not up here. But I have created a beautiful mob farm in here. Um, so let's get a name for the peak. Let's, it's something peak, something mountain, something peak. Peak. I think it's a peak. Um, let's get a name for it. I will name it whatever it is that gets the most upvotes for a name in the comments section. So throw me a suggestion, whichever one gets the most. If it's a tie, you'll have to fight to the death or something. I'm not dealing with a tie. So come up with a clear winner. Someone make a suggestion. We're going to call it something peak and we're going to make it a lot bigger. Guys, we have done a heap this week. When you think about it, when I was saying that I hadn't done much, yes, okay, I only built that and that. But we built all of those farms this week too. And we've done all this pathing and we did the tree and we did the Audi bits on the bridge over there. And we got all the materials together to do all of this, don't forget. So we have done a heap this week, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate every single one of you. I love you all to death. You are fantastic. And yeah, don't forget, throw a name down the thing uh, in the comments. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. If you're not watching the videos to this point, then you're not seeing this. So there's no point in me giving you a message anyway. But please watch all of it. It's fun. But what sort of tell me what you like tell me what you don't like tell me all the stuff all right um i will catch you all next week have a great week guys love you all to death bye bye